circles. Use and complete the square to find the center and radius. What are they? 2D objects where each point is the same distance from the center. Why? Roman amphitheaters use circles in their design to place the focus on one main event. Interesting fact. In 1928, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse was the first mouse character to be used in children cartoons and animation. Now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example 1. Let's read the steps. Step 1. Move the constant. Step 2. Move the xy terms closer. Step 3. Complete the square. Step 4. Add numbers to both sides. Step 5. Factor. Now, let's read the question. Find the center and radius of the given equation x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y minus 36 is equal to 0. Without graphing the equation, one method to find the center and radius is to complete the square. We have the standard equation of a circle on the top right. The quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared, where the center is hk and the radius is r. When we complete the square, we will manipulate the equation so that it can be written as the sum of two single terms squared, so we can see easier how the circle shifted from 0, 0 or the origin. Now, let's reread the equation x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y minus 36 is equal to 0. Our first step is to move that constant negative 36 to the other side. So let's go ahead and add 36 to the left hand side. Those numbers cancel and now we need to add 36 to the right hand side. Now let's write down what we have so far. This is the reason we move the constant to the opposite side. So we can have all the variables on one side. We have also moved the xy terms closer together and put parentheses around them so we can see what is happening a little bit easier. Now let's complete the square for our x quadratic. First we need to find the b term which is negative 4. We need to divide negative 4 by 2 and square it. Let's simplify. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 and negative 2 squared is 4. Now let's add 4 back into our equation. Whoa. We have two 4's here. Remember, if we add a 4 to the left hand side, we have to add a 4 to the right hand side. So we keep the equation equal. Now, we need to complete the square for the y quadratic. First, we need to find the b term, which is positive 6. We need to divide positive 6 by 2 and square it. Let's simplify. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. Now, let's add 9 back into our equation. Whoa, we have two 9's here. Remember, if we add a 9 to the left hand side, we have to add a 9 to the right hand side, so we keep the equation equal. And that is why we added a blank spot for each quadratic. Now, let's factor the x quadratic, and our result is the quantity of x minus 2 squared. Now, let's factor the y quadratic, and our result is the quantity of y plus 3 squared. Now, let's add all the constant terms, 36 plus 4 plus 9 is 49. Now we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y plus 3 squared is equal to 49. Now, if the factoring bit was too fast, there is a link in the description below in more detail. Now that our equation is in standard form, let's find the center hk. Let's start with h by setting x minus 2 equal to 0. Let's add 2 to both sides, so x is equal to 2. That means our center shifted two units to the right from the origin. Let's continue with k by setting y plus 3 is equal to 0. Let's add negative 3 to both sides, so y is equal to negative 3. That means our center shifted three units down from the origin. Now that we found our h and our k, let's go ahead and combine them to form our center. And our center is 2, negative 3. And to find our radius, we take the square root of 49 which is 7. And that is example 1. Now let's move on to example 2. Let's read the question. Find the center and radius of the given equation. x squared plus y squared plus 4y minus 117 is equal to 0. We have the standard equation of a circle on the top right, which is the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Where hk is the center, 
and r is the radius. Remember, when we complete the square, we will manipulate the equation so that it can be written as the sum of two single terms squared. So we can see how the circle shifted from the origin or zero, zero. Now let's reread the equation x squared plus y squared plus 4y minus 117 is equal to zero. We need to move that constant, negative 117, to the other side. So let's add 117 on the left hand side. Those numbers cancel. Now we need to add 117 on the right hand side. Let's write down what we have so far. This is the reason we move the constant to the opposite side, so we can have all the variables on one side. In this case, all the xy terms were close together, so we didn't have to move anything around. But we did put parentheses around them, so we can see what is happening a little bit easier. Now, let's complete the square for our x quadratic. First, we need to find the b term, which is 0. We need to divide 0 by 2 and square it. Let's simplify. 0 divided by 2 is 0, and 0 squared is 0. In cases like this, we don't need to complete the square because we don't have a b term, or a number times x, or sometimes y. So we can move on to the other variable. Now, let's complete the square for our y quadratic. First, we need to find the b term, which is positive 4. We need to divide positive 4 by 2 and square it. Let's simplify. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. Now, let's add 4 back into our equation. Whoa, we have two 4s here. Remember, if we add a 4 to the left-hand side, we have to add a 4 to the right-hand side, so we keep the equation equal. And that is why we added one blank spot for the y quadratic. Now, let's factor the x quadratic. Do we need to factor the x quadratic? No, but we are going to rewrite it as the quantity of x minus 0 squared. Now, let's factor the y quadratic, and our result is the quantity of y plus 2 squared. Now, let's add the constants of 117 and 4, and the result is 121. And now we have the quantity of x minus 0 squared plus quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 121. Now, if the factoring bit was too fast, there is a link in the description below in more detail. Now that our equation is in standard form, let's find the center hk. Let's start with h by setting x minus 0 is equal to 0. Let's simplify, so x is equal to 0. That means our center did not shift any units to the left or right from the origin. It is not necessary to put the minus 0 in the parentheses, but we did it to show you where h comes from. Let's continue with k by setting y plus 2 is equal to 0. Let's add negative 2 to both sides, so y is equal to negative 2. That means our center shifted 2 units down from the origin. Now that we have h and k, let's go ahead and combine them to form our center. And our center is 0, negative 2. And to find our radius, we take the square root of 121, which is 11. And that is example 2. Now, let's move on to example 3. Let's read the question. Find the center and radius of the given equation. 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 12x plus 16y minus 22 is equal to 0. We have the standard equation of a circle on the top right, which is the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared, where hk is the center and r is the radius. Remember, when we complete the square, we will manipulate the equation so that it can be written as the sum of two single terms squared, so we can see easier how the circle shifted from 0, 0 toward the origin. Now. Let's reread the equation. 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 12x plus 16y minus 22 is equal to 0. This time, we have coefficients that are greater than 1 in front of the x squared and y squared. That does make things a bit more interesting, but if we take a look at each number, each number is a multiple of 2. Since we have an equation and not an expression, we can divide each number by 2. If you can't do this step, it is a bit more interesting and that's for another video. Let's go ahead and cancel those numbers out. Now, let's write down what we have so far, which is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 8y minus 11 is equal to 0. Now we have something that looks like example 1 or example 2. Let's go ahead and move that constant negative 11 to the other side. First, let's add 11 to the left-hand side. Those numbers cancel. 
Now we need to add 11 to the right hand side. And now let's write down what we have so far. This is the reason we move the constant to the opposite side, so we can have all the variables on one side. We have also moved the xy terms closer together and put parentheses around them so we can see what is happening a little easier. Now let's complete the square for our x quadratic. First, we need to find the b term, which is negative 6. We need to divide negative 6 by 2 and square it. Let's simplify. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is 9. Now, let's add 9 back into our equation. Whoa, we have two 9's here. Remember, if we add a 9 to the left hand side, we have to add a 9 to the right hand side, so we keep the equation equal. Now, let's complete the square for our y quadratic. First, we need to find the b term, which is positive 8. We need to divide positive 8 by 2 and square it. Let's simplify. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 squared is 16. Now, let's add 16 back into our equation. Whoa, we have two 16's here. Remember, if we add a 16 to the left hand side, we have to add a 16 to the right hand side, so we keep the equation equal. And that is why we added a blank spot for each quadratic. Now, let's factor the x quadratic, and our result is the quantity of x minus 3 squared. Now, let's factor the y quadratic, and our result is the quantity of y plus 4 squared. Now, let's add our constant terms of 11 plus 9 plus 16, and the result is 36. Now we have the quantity of x minus 3 squared plus the quantity of y plus 4 squared is equal to 36. Now, if the factoring bit was too fast, there's a link in the description below in more detail. Now that our equation is in standard form, let's find the center hk. Let's start with h by setting x minus 3 is equal to 0. Let's add 3 to both sides, so x is equal to 3. That means our center shifted 3 units to the right from the origin. Let's continue with k by setting y plus 4 is equal to 0. Let's add negative 4 to both sides, so y is equal to negative 4. That means our center shifted 4 units down from the origin. Now that we have h and k, let's go ahead and combine them to form our center. And our center is 3, negative 4. And to find our radius, we need to take the square root of 36, and the result is 6. And that is example 3. Now, it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question, and I'll show you the results in 3, 2, and 1. Did you get it correct? Awesome. If not, there's always tomorrow.